Electricity harnessed inside. Reproduced thin dimensions does a computer chip comprise. Analog, digital, and mixed signal devices are the classifications these can reach. Thousands, millions of transistors within minimal sizes. The chips and integrated circuits find home with conductive wiring spun on circuit boards, copper, and electric roads. Transistors are the key. They come in many types. Considered among the greatest of inventions, they are the chip's brain and power many a device. Resistors are placed to prevent bridging effects. The metallic surfaces are bound with solder, an alloy of tin and lead. Capacitors store energy. Pins carry a current. Through the ovens they travel, sometimes infrared lamps play the furnace. In 1960, this technology matured, but chips are not restricted. To this process. Some utilize wafers. For wafers, silicone is the canvas on which the portrait is painted. Low material costs and good temperature ranges to manage. Many layers make up a wafer's scheme. Its silicone and aluminum are gray, but refracted light gives way to reds, blues, yellows, and greens. Etching is the process of at least two layers of electronically interconnected wafers, mounted one at a time, cut and polished. Inexpensive creations roll out the line, like a newspaper, churning out new wafers instead of one at a time. The circle takes shape to help prevent breaks, to fit in as many chips as possible, and machines can handle them easier this way. Look close into the heart and observe that human mind behind the creation has left us a mark of his work. Be wary, dear Chip, for though you make possibilities infinite, with your uses many and speed fantastic, it can prove ill pushing those limits. In 1956, this tool rose from the mind of man. Perfected in the 1980s, it still gains momentum to think it hails from the humility of sand. It now can be found in many everyday things, from computers to cellular phones and cars, and most likely, whatever our future might bring.